Hey, yo, what's up? What's up? What's going on? Wait on a few people to get on here, man. Hope everybody's good. I hope everything's good. Well, I'm going live on TikTok too, man. Facebook at the same time. This is new for me, so let's see how it go. Multi streaming. Let's see who run it up the most. My TikTok people or my Facebook people. Well, welcome to Live with Daniel Aaron Sullivan. This is Friday Night Fire. Where I'll be sharing uh, you know, what the Lord put on my heart, you know what I'm saying, throughout the week. It gave me some good stuff to, for, to share with y'all today, man. Uh, how Thanksgiving is the antidote for anxiety. What up, Al? What's up, bro? Thanksgiving is the antidote for anxiety. I'm sending out these invites, man. Let my people know we're on here. And when you get on, can you uh, comment, say what's up, say hello, let me know you're here? Are you trying to get on here with me? Uh, yeah. Try to chop it up with me, bro? What up, Donna? What's good, man? Let me see what we got here, man. Got three people on here with me. What's good, what's good, what's good? Hey, y'all go ahead and share this for me before I get started, man. I'm gonna run it. Get at least to at least 10. Get like, let me get 10 live viewers and then I'll go ahead. I ain't asking too much. Are you cooking? What you cooking, bro? Man, you ain't got no leftovers? You ain't, your mama ain't cook? Sharon, are you coming on with me? Yo, yo, yo. Hey, what you, this is what I want y'all to do. And you kind in the comment, leave your city, your state, your country, wherever you're from. Let, let the people know where you, what you represent. I know we represent the kingdom of God, but you know what I'm saying? It hit different. You know, you know, I'm reaching people all over. Far and wide, you know? What's up, Calvin? Blessings. Blessings. Let me get ready to start in just a minute. Let me try to get 10 live views. We got two on here on TikTok and two on Facebook. We can, I got like 6,000 friends on Facebook. You can get 10 people on here, bro. Y'all better pull up. I'm sending my invites out now. Little Houston in the house, South Africa in the house. All right, we got four on Facebook. Let me get six more. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. What's up, Leanne? Good to see you, Amanda. That's my that's my daughter, Auntie, right there, y'all. Y'all tell her hello. That's uh that's Angel's si uh, mama's sister. Oh, she sent some stars. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, Leanne, Amanda, Sharon, Alfred. Y'all go ahead and share this for me, can you? Let the people know we live. I'm trying to see if Sharon will come on here with me. She always got some, some wisdom to stick, you know? We got eight, seven. Get it up to ten, y'all. Come on, come on. I want to get started. So I'm ready. I'm ready to preach. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pray. Lord, we thank you for this day. Lord God, we ask that you wash us all with the blood of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you forgive us of any sins that we committed knowingly or unknowingly, any thoughts, deed, or actions. Lord God, that were contrary to your will, anything we've done that grieve Holy Spirit. Lord God, we ask that you forgive us, as you purify us by your blood, Jesus. Ask, Lord God, that you pour out your glory on tonight, that you give us wisdom, give us 
revelation of your kingdom and how it functions, Lord God. I ask, Lord God, you heal, set free, and deliver on tonight for the glory of God. Let your might be made known. Let your love be made known. Let your presence be felt in the home of every viewer on tonight, Lord God. We hunger, we thirst after you, Lord God. We want nothing more than to be in your presence. So we thank you, Lord God, that your word, Lord God, that you're accompanying your word, that you, you're backing up your word with signs, wonders, and miracles. You're setting people free, Lord God, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, from any bondage, Lord God, they may be being bound to anything that's been tormenting them, tormenting them in their minds and their emotions. Uh, we ask, Lord God, for you increasing finances, you physically healing people as your word goes forth, Lord God. He said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So, Lord, let nothing but your truth come from my lips on tonight. Lord, decrease me that you may increase, Lord. I pray that the Holy Spirit lead and guide every word that proceed out of my mouth on tonight. Lord, I love you and we thank you and give you all honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. We ask, Lord God, that you send your word out to reach as many people as you would have it to reach. Let it touch the heart of everyone that needs to hear what you give me on tonight. Lord, thank you, little people are getting set free from fear, from anxiety, from doubt, from unforgiveness, from anything that's, uh, any broken hearts that they're being healed on tonight. Even now, even before the word goes for a Lord, blaze of path of fire before me, Lord God. Make the path, make our path straight. Send Holy Spirit, go before me and go ahead and begin to penetrate the hearts of every listener on tonight, Lord God. They be able to receive your word. Tear down every, every spirit of pride, every spirit of rebellion, Lord God. Just hindering them from being able to receive the goodness of your word and your truth, Lord God. It's, it's coming to develop them, it's coming to edify them, it's coming to draw them closer to you. On tonight, Lord, we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, we got 12. What's up, Fashan? Bless you. Sherry, love y'all. God bless y'all. Who else we got on here? We got Saul, we got Jen. What's up, what's up, what's up? What up, what, Eli? What's going on? My, 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 uh, my mobile people in the house. How you been, man? Proud of you, dude. Proud of you, man. Let me see who, I'm gonna bring somebody on here, man. Let's see who's gonna come on here. Let me get Sharon on here, let's see what she's talking about. Pull up, Sharon. Come on, come on. God bless you, Teresa. Love you too. Everybody, first of all, I think I hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving. I hope y'all ate good. I ate really good. Shout out to my son, Grandmama. Love you. <laughs> Never mama hit a downward. She went crazy. See, we had a turkey. We had the turkey wings. I'm talking was lit. So good. The greens, the spaghetti. You know, Memphis, they put spaghetti with everything in Memphis. I don't know what that is, but I know this young was smacking on everything. But look. I don't know. I had posted a picture of the plate. Still full. I ain't had much at all. I ain't need that much to eat today. That's good. So it was, she, her man says she was still full. Teresa said, yeah, she had amazing things here. That's what's up. But look, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get in the word, if that's okay with y'all. Is that cool? So the theme of tonight, Thanksgiving, is an antidote for anxiety. Oh, you want to come on, bro? Pull up. I'm going to hear what's on your heart, man. Pull up, bro. I'll be honored to have you on here, man. I want you to hop on. Introduce yourself, man. Let people know what you've been doing. Yo. What's good, bro? What's up with good you? Good to see you, doing, man. What you been up to? <laughs> How you doing, man, brother? And bless, bro. You know, we know. Hey, man, I just wanted to come on here just to say, um, I want to say I, I, I want to appreciate you for what you do. 
You know what I'm saying? I've been, oh, God, man. I've been paying attention too. And a lot of people don't know I've been going through like a like a little dark road. And sometimes I go to your page. Come out of that. You, you hop on I, right know. I know. I know. It finished shut that down so quick. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. You have no I, idea. I do want to say I humbly appreciate you. Like you my brother. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And whenever you whenever you come back, man, you know, I just. You know, I'm coming down there in the morning. I'm pulling well, up. Well, I'm, tap in with me. I'm leaving Memphis. I'm being. I'm going to see my daughter first of all. But like, if I can make time, I gotta see my daughter. I gotta see my mama. I gotta see my grandma. After that, it's whatever. All right, all right. yeah. Just tap in with me, brother. Yeah, you know, definitely. Catch up. Let me pray for you real quick. No hop out. Right. What's the what? Like this, a, you gotta be real. You gotta be vulnerable. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So what is the issue? So we can address it directly. You gotta well, talk I'm, about it, bro. All right. So like, I I've been fighting with um, ang anger mm -hmm. issues and depression but i don't show it because i don't i i give i like to give people laughter mm -hmm. you know make make their days and stuff why i be passing out the word you know i be yeah. motivating them with some of the word too after my shows but deep down within yeah. i be fighting i'll be real things. with you sometimes our gift is our coping mechanism it don't actually heal us right. it just it just make us feel better you know what i'm saying because right. when we get done doing what we do we still gotta go home and deal with us right. when it get quiet that's when it hurt right you know so, right, so right. you know that's why a lot of time you'll see it's a lot of influential people a lot of active people that's the only way you need to survive right you know so you know you talk about the idle mind being a devil's workshop all that but this the reality is the pain is what birth the gift mm -hmm. but the gift don't heal the pain human it don't it's still there yeah, that that deep, that deep, <laughs> that deep. The pain birth the gift, real. but the gift doesn't heal the pain. Right. The, the the gift heal other people's pain, but it don't heal yours. Only people, only thing heal yours is Jesus. Right. He said we comfort others with the comfort that we ourselves receive from God. So that's why you like to bring joy. But right. the reality, you got to be tapped into the source of that joy. If Righteous. you don't know tell, if you ain't really got joy, everything you doing is fake. It's a lie. So you just say, God, I want joy for real. Right. I really want it in my heart for real. So I ain't gotta pretend. This thing will be easy. Yeah. It'll be natural. Yeah. I don't want to pretend to smile. I want to be happy for real. Right. But the thing though, anger is always a byproduct of unforgiveness. It's somebody that you got hit, you got something hidden in your heart against somebody that you need to let go. How you gonna ask God to heal you, but you don't want to forgive people? You can't. He said, you can't, you're gonna forgive others. Your heavenly father won't forgive you. So what it is, it's not even anger, it's guilt. Guilt. Yeah. yeah. You can't love people if you don't love you. You can't receive, you can't give forgiveness if you can't receive it. Okay. What's that mean? That means I can't receive forgiveness for something that I ain't even addressed. All right. So you got to go back and find out who offended you and go find them and tell them you forgive them. But at first it started in your heart. You can't tell them with a pure heart if you didn't actually release them spiritually. Okay. Dear. So do you remember who hurt you? Nah. It could have been for me. It was when it started when I was small. So I had to go way. I say, it, was, it probably was so long ago. Mm -hmm. It's so long. It is. Ain't no problem. It is so long ago to the point where it's like I want to I, I, I like swept it under the rug. You feel me? But it's just like let me tell you, my just, anger issues came from my daddy. You know, we. Oh African yeah, American, that's one. That's that's one where it sure. started. That's one for so you sure. Got, do you love your daddy? To the max. Are you willing to forgive? Give him totally of any offense, any abandonment, any betrayal, any neglect. Yeah, one hundred percent. Okay. Anybody else? Any past relationships? The it's, women hurt. It's one of them. I feel like I feel like it's one of them, like them talk. It's one of them talk. We have to get off live to really talk about. You know what I'm saying? This is gonna help everybody who you say you want to help. Who everybody you say you love. This gonna help them. If you can be real, they can be real. Anybody judging you? You ain't gotta say no names. You just gotta be honest. I just and say I forgive like everybody. I did. I did. I did some stuff in the past. Mm -hmm. Uh, 
that I, I'm not proud of, you know what I'm saying? Oh. That, like you ain't want to dis dishonor nobody, like publicly type thing? Something, something like that, yeah. Like, something like that. But we can talk. We can have a whole session, bro, and we can pray this thing through, man, and we can deal with all the issues. You can be vulnerable, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to act hard. Yeah. I, I had to act hard a long time. Man, nigga, imagine somebody who looked like me growing up in Happy Hill. <laughs> I had, I, had, I had to be hard. I, I ain't went no way around it. Hey, I understand that. So, I understand man, that. Chop it up, man. You know, whatever you share with me, I will not tell nobody, bro. All right. Period. No one about here. Nothing, man. We're going to pray it through and, you know, and yeah, and you're going to be straight. I appreciate oh. that, brother. Real talk. Pray for you, Lord. We ask, Lord God, um, in between now and the meeting, Lord God, you begin to reveal every trauma in his heart, Lord God. Anything from his past, Lord God, that may be hidden, Lord God, that he's been holding against his offenders, Lord God. We ask, Lord God, that you bring it to the surface uh, that he can release them, that he can forgive them. Lord, we ask that you uh, begin to send people who love him, who 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 can can who he can be vulnerable with, who he can trust. People after your own heart, Lord God. People who are loved him unconditionally, Lord God, so he can learn to love people unconditionally. So I, I pray, Lord, now and now in the next couple of days, Lord, you just sitting people who, Lord, when they, when they just come into their presence, his heart just melt, and he just pour out to them. Lord, we just thank you for what you're doing in his life. We thank you for his humility. We thank you, Lord God, that he's even willing, Lord God, to come to your feet, Lord God, and just allow you to do the work on the inside of him. So, Lord, we just thank you for the grace that's over his life. We thank you for the favor that's over his life. We thank you even now, Lord God, that you expanded his reach. You expanded his territory, Lord God. You even giving him more depth and context, Lord God, to his jokes, Lord God, that he'll be able to penetrate the hearts of every person to hear his voice, Lord God, that you be glorified in all that he does. Lord, we just love you and we thank you and we give you honor and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What's up, bro? Appreciate that, brother. Love you, bro. Get off line. Yes, sir. We're gonna we gonna talk for real. Let's go. Yes, sir. Go. All right, late, bro. Appreciate Thank you too. tapping in, man. All right, no problem. Yes, sir. That's good people, man. That's good people right there. Ain't that a blessing? It'd be the people who get hurt who just want to make everybody happy. You know? It'd be the people who hurt who really like God really produce compassion and empathy through your pain, but you can't hold on on to the pain you can hold on to the understanding and being able to relate but you gotta let go of anything in your heart that's not love. you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm happy for bro man he's gonna grow you're gonna see this dude grow exponentially because he humbled himself before god watch you think he was doing good he's gonna go to a whole nother level in his career because he humbled himself before God. Watch what I tell you. Go follow the brother Eli. Time he a comedian, man. Dude, is super funny, bro. He's from the south too, so he understand the culture. That's why I rock with him. He understand what's going on. <laughs> he understand. Got Michael Guyton. What's up, man? Octavia. God bless you. So <clears throat> Thanksgiving, right? I know that's the season, but that's not what. It never was about turkey. It was always about worship. It was always about praise. It's always about being grateful for what God is doing in your life. Thanksgiving is the antidote for anxiety. What, what does that mean? That means how, how can you be focused on your future and what God is going to do or has it done when you're not grateful for what he already did in your life. If you can't thank God right now, what make you think that he's going to do anything else? When he's already, You can't even thank Jesus for being murdered for you, but he want him to bless you with money and family. and all, 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 all. You, you got to start with the basics. Can we worship God where we're at? Thanksgiving is the antidote for anxiety. You will have peace in your heart if you can master contentment. Can you be grateful? Can you be thankful for where you at right now? 
His aura said it is right. It is. It is, man. Let me let me let me get into some scriptures and we'll we're gonna talk a little more. He said, First Thessalonians, right? If anybody is on here who's following along with me, can you put these verses in the comments? First Thessalonians chapter five, verse eighteen. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse eighteen. Who wanna be my note taker? Send me some hearts if you want to be the note taker. Boom. Boom. Hey, I say he got it. First Thessalonians. That's First Thessalonians, chapter five, verse eighteen. It said, "Give thanks, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you." Giving thanks is the will of God. It's not something you should do. This is something that is required of you. It's the will of God for your life. It's for you to give thanks. Let's see. First Thessalonians chapter five, verse eighteen. He said this. Okay, anything that we can thank God for is the area that God is willing to manifest Himself. In that particular area of life if you can thank him for peace <laughs> that surpasses understanding you can experience peace that surpasses understanding you can't thank him for something that you don't believe he's actually gonna do so your thanks is evidence of your faith The willingness to praise God in a particular area is a demonstration of the fact that you really believe. You know, I've been in a time where I was so low and my faith was so, so weak that I couldn't, it was hard to praise God. It was hard to praise God. You ever been there? Well, you just literally couldn't pray. It was hard. Like, you didn't even want to read your Bible. I've been there as a believer. I've been there. Well, just, just like, I couldn't think of nothing positive to say. So guess what I did? I, read, I picked up my Bible and I started quoting scriptures. I if I, I couldn't think of nothing to authentically say, I took his word and I just lifted that up to him as praise, as a form of worship. I used, I gave him what he gave me. And when I could think of nothing, I just used what he already wrote. He said this in Colossians chapter three, verse 15, right? Colossians chapter three, verse 15. Jekiffany, God bless you. Welcome, welcome. Colossians chapter 3, verse 15. It said, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. What does that mean? You got to listen. Y'all got to read. He said, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. What does that mean? There's a battle for the territory of the area of your heart. Your house, your heart houses an entire kingdom. <laughs> your heart it houses an entire kingdom I bet you don't believe that do you <laughs> he said let the peace of Christ rule in your heart that's why he said the kingdom of God is within it's within the kingdom of God the spirit of God the presence of God. God himself literally can live in your human body. What's up, Snap? Appreciate you joining in, man. 
He said, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. He said, and, and be thankful. He commanded us to be thankful. Even if you don't feel it, it's required of you to humble yourself before God and acknowledge him for things that he's done. Whether it feel good or not, he's still God. That's why we call him king. We call him Lord. Because he's sovereign. He rules over our hearts. Regardless of what I feel like, I'm still going to lift up thanks. You know why? Because he said so. And he deserves it. Because he's mighty. And I'm grateful that he's not my enemy and he's on my side. Let me go to the main point. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Just like my main point he gave me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. I ain't going to be on here long, but if anybody want to tap in with me, man, you can. If you want to, you know, if you want to plug in, you want to get connected, if you want to get on live with me for a minute, let's talk. You can. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. He says, do not be anxious about anything. Do, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, what? With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. What does this mean? That's why I say, Lord, we thank you for the peace. We th thank you for the elevation. We thank you for your power, your glory being made manifest in our lives. Why do we say thank you while we're still praying? It's because we believe what we're actually praying. We're believing that he's going to respond. He's, as a matter of fact, he's already responded to what I'm releasing into the atmosphere. That's why I say thank you while I'm praying. I thank you because you are a God who responds. Jesus is alive and he is responsive. To prayer and to thanksgiving. Thanks is a trigger word for God. Thanks provokes God to answer your prayer. So you don't have to worry. You don't have to worry if you offer thanks. If I'm celebrating the thing, that means I believe the thing. That means I genuinely believe in my heart that God is actually going to respond to the very thing that I'm asking him for. Thanksgiving. How can I be anxious when I already know that God is going to respond? There is no doubt in my mind that I serve a God who responds. Now I'll go ahead and share this for a minute. I feel like this is good. Somebody need to hear this. So this I feel like this is going to increase somebody's faith. Y'all share this for me. Tag some people. Do something. Give some comments. Say, send some hearts if you believe that Jesus is responsive to prayer. If you believe that God is, has heard you, if you've been praying this week, and you believe that Jesus' response is on the way, already in anticipation. Anxiety and anticipation are not the same. Anticipation is faith. Anxiety is fear. The joy of the Lord is my, the byproduct of my faith. Anxiety is a byproduct of my fear. You hear me? Joy is the evidence of my faith. Anxiety is the evidence of my doubt. <laughs> believe God. Do you thank him? Can you thank him for the things that you actually believe in him for? If you actually have faith, you wouldn't be doing so much complaining. What up, Rondo? That's, a little, that's my new little brother, man. Appreciate y'all hopping on, man.
He said this, Psalms chapter 7, verse 17. Psalms chapter 7, verse 17. Somebody write, you got that for me, Al? Psalms chapter 7, verse 17. I see TikTok putting on over here. They running it up. They put y'all to shame over here on Facebook. I appreciate y'all. Look, hey, TikTok people, share this. This is good. This is going to encourage somebody. It's going to encourage somebody. Share this with somebody that you love who needs. They don't have no peace. They don't have no joy in their heart. They like, they real down. Like, this would be perfect for them. This is going to encourage them. If there's somebody in your family that you're around, y'all been around everybody. Like, I know y'all got a group message. Share it. Share this in, to your loved ones. Psalm chapter 7, verse 17 says, I will give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness. And I will sing praise to the name of the Lord, the most high God. He said, I will sing praise to the name of the Lord. What is the name of the Lord? Jesus. Man, bro, I'm good. I'm blessed, man. I'm going to my hometown tomorrow to go see my baby, bro. I'm excited. Baby Joy, daddy on the way. He coming to see you, girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Psalm chapter 1, verse 6. Psalm chapter 1, verse 6. I'm reading the ESV version. This is new for me. I like it, though. It makes it, like, clear. I mean, it's not missing any words. So if you know a version, if you want to know a version, it's the ESV version of the Bible. Psalm chapter 100, verse 1 through 5 says, Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing know that the lord he is god it is he who made us and we are his we are his people and the sheep of his pasture enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him bless his name for the lord is good his steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations he said enter his courts with praise what does praise do it gives you access to the courts of heaven praise gives you access to the courts of heaven that's where god makes decisions praise gives you access to the throne of god praise and thanksgiving give you access to the throne of god where you can make your requests in his presence <laughs> praise and thanksgiving brings you closer to the feet of jesus it's not just singing songs because that's what church people do. No, there's benefits to this. I don't just do this because that's what I'm supposed to do. I do this because I benefit from it, because he loves me. And he has a way, God has a way that he likes to be approached. He loved, God deserves honor and glory and praise because he's honorable. God is honorable. I don't honor him because that's what I'm supposed to say. I, I, say, I honor him because he's honorable. He created me. He created you. If it was not for him, I would not be alive. You, I hope y'all understand that. I hope y'all understand that. Praise ain't always a song. It could just be a genuine expression. Just a sincere expression in your heart. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be saying a song. Like, it could be what I'm doing. I'm just talking about him, just acknowledging him. What up, cuz? What's up, man? Prince, do a game. He, hey, this, he, he's a, he really, cuz really is a praise guy. He's a worshiper. Y'all gonna get, y'all gonna, y'all gonna get to hear something from him. We get this, this church launch in January. Uh, he, he 
got a lot to release off his heart. He said, Colossians chapter three. Here's another key. Here's another kingdom principle to apply to produce results in prayer. You ready? And re results in everything that you do. Well, I'm happy you're Orthodox Christian, Big Daddy. That's a blessing. I don't know what that means, but I'm grateful that you know Jesus. That's all that matters. Uh, man, I love God, bro. I really do. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. What's up, Jessica? God bless you. Welcome back. Welcome back. This woman got an amazing testimony, man. Y'all follow her. Jessica speaking life, Johnson. She's sharing her story, what she she been through. Y'all follow her and go check it out, man. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. He said, and whatever you do, this is, this is the key. <clears throat> this, this is the key. This is a key to producing results in prayer and producing prosperity not prosperity but like yes results when you put your hand to do something that prospers why why do you do well when you attempt a thing he said <laughs> whatever you do in word or deed do everything in the name of the lord jesus giving thanks to god the father through him Okay. Big Daddy said, shut up. I ain't going to do it. You obviously don't know your brother, man. I love you, but I ain't finna be quiet, man. I'm sorry. Can't do it. You can block me, though, if you ain't happy. But, uh, excuse me, y'all. I'm letting, I'm letting the happy heel come out. I'm sorry, y'all. But, uh, they can't do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus love you anyway, man. Jesus love you, bro. But look. Do for everything that you do, do it in word or deed. Do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God. Giving thanks to God. Everything that you do, do it for the glory of God. Mention his name publicly when you do what you do. And watch the power of God show up publicly. Watch the favor. Watch the people. It's going to draw. He said, I, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. He said, if the name of Jesus be lifted up, there's favor associated with that. There's a greater reach, a greater level of impact that's associated with thanksgiving and lifting up the name of Jesus. It's right, cuz It is love, man. Now, I was picking on this dude. I ain't talking about nobody. Okay? This is a dude on TikTok. He was like being weird. What's up, Toby? God bless you, man. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you try. Don't get me started, man. Don't get me started. But look, but if you want to have a conversation, I want to talk to the guy. He said he's Orthodox Christian. I want to, I want to hear his perspective and I'm going to share mine. And we'll, maybe we can do a live together where we can share, you know what I'm saying? We can reason together. Together, I think that'd be good. That'd be good. Just let me know. Let me know, man. He's ah. Oh, I think he's trying to provoke me. Bro, he said my thoughts on gay people. He's trying to get me blocked, bro. You already know what it is. You know what the Bible says. Read your Bible. It'll, let the Bible tell you what it says. What's what? This is not what my perspective is. What does the Word of God say concerning homosexuality? That's my answer. Yes, sir. I'm 
sticking to the topic. Thank you, Preston. Uh, yeah, I ain't going. It's a setup, man. You can inbox me and we can talk about it. If you have, if it's something that you genuinely want an answer to, inbox me and I'll answer any question that you have according to scripture. And then you can take or leave it or whatever. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you my phone number. That way you can't use my messages against me to get me out there. But anyways, people be acting. I can't. Tick -tock. You know they censoring folks. You know they're going to get me out here. But look, the glory of God, the love of God. First Corinthians chapter one, verse four. I said, I give thanks to my God always for you because of the grace of God that was given to you in Christ Jesus. How can I not love you when Jesus died for you? I got to love you. I don't have to agree with your ways, but I love you. There's a lot of things I don't agree with. There's a lot of things Jesus don't agree with, but he still died. That don't make you right. It just means he forgave you. But this is the thing. I want, I'm, I'm kind of want to share on this a little bit. He said, should we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. God doesn't hate gay people. He hates sin. He loves everybody. He just doesn't agree with perversion. Right? He doesn't agree with sodomy. Sodomy is not a good thing. I'm sorry. I don't I think it's weird. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion on that. I don't leave that alone. Like, anyways. He asked, I didn't, this wasn't my topic, bro said that. But uh, uh here we go. Ooh, here's a good one. Isaiah chapter 12. This is a good scripture to talk about thanks. A reason why we should be thankful. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 1 through 6. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 1 through 6. We're getting back on topic, y'all. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 1 through 6. He said, you will say in that day, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, for though you were angry with me, your anger turned away, that you might comfort me. <laughs> How many people know that we pissed God off before and he still let us live? He had mercy on us. How many people know? We've done things completely contrary to everything that we believe, even as believers. And he relented. He did not give us the judgment that we deserved. Bro, say he's going to go get his Bible. Please bring the Holy Spirit with you as well, sir. Not just the religious opinions. But, uh, excuse me. I'm talking to the TikTok dude over here. He's cool. He said, Behold, God is my salvation. He said, I will trust and I will not be afraid. Why do I trust him and I'm not afraid? Because he forgave me. <laughs> I don't have to be afraid of him because I'm fully aware that he loves me. I can trust him because he showed me his grace. He said, the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. He said, with joy, with thanksgiving, with joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. What does that mean? The joy of the Lord is your strength. What does that mean? Thanksgiving supernaturally imparts strength into your natural body. Thanksgiving, joy, praise, cause you to receive strength from God. 
He said, as give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. Proclaim that his name is exalted. The name of Jesus is what? Exalted. Sing praises to the Lord for he has done gloriously. Let this be made known in all of the earth. That's why I do Facebook. Because I can reach people all over the world. Because he told me to. He told me to in the word to tell people about him. To lift up his name. All of y'all should because he deserves it, because he's merciful. Even though you're rebellious, Jesus is merciful, and he deserved to be praised. Let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. He said, the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. Jesus is the king of all kings and all gods. There's no power in the universe that's greater than that of the name of Jesus. That's why it says that the name of Jesus, demons tremble. Why? Because he's mighty and he is powerful. <laughs> and there's none greater than him. Not, not even the spirit of religion. Not even pride. What up, Gerald? What's good, man? Love you, dude. Yeah, she called me. She said she was getting attacked spiritually. Guess what? There's no power that's greater than the name of Jesus. None. Simple. That's your solution. The blood of Jesus. That's against every demonic force. Every spirit of depression. Every spirit of anxiety. Every spirit of fear. Let's bow down to the name of Jesus. Let me get back right here. Period. <laughs> that was what Teresa said. Period. Facts. If you believe that there's no demonic force in the universe that is greater than the name of Jesus, say Jesus is king. If you believe that if God be for you, who can be against you? Say Jesus is king in the comments. If you really believe, if you're on here to do more than spectate, if you're here to receive breakthrough in some area of your life, say Jesus is king in the comments. Teresa said Jesus is king. Man, that's right, big daddy. Bless you, man. <laughs> I don't even feel comfortable saying that. <laughs> I don't want to call you that above bro. Margaret, God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, no, but uh, Toby asked some questions. I want him to inbox me and I'll ask, you know, we can go through the word, man, and I'll let you know everything about that uh the alternative lifestyle stuff. I, I'll show you in the Word of God uh, what it says about that. And then, yeah. And then you can share it with everybody once you, re once you realize the truth about purity. 
God's original intent for mankind and womankind. He made one male and one female. That's it. It's, that's why there's only one way to reproduce the male and female have to come together and boom. If the same sex came together, they won't have children. It's impossible. We would go extinct. That's my answer. That's just one reason why I don't necessarily, I don't promote homosexuality, period. Because you did. If I did, I would have, I would have kids. I love my children. I'm going to see my baby in the morning. Like, I would die for my children. What's up, Mama Linda? God bless you. Come on, I want you to come on here with me, please. Oh, you want to come on, Sean? Pull up. Come on, Sean. I seen you sent the invite. You want to come talk with me? I promise that was not my topic, but he asked questions. Hey, what's up? What's up? Okay. So let's talk. We're talking about Thanksgiving. What has the Lord revealed to you about Thanksgiving? Not a lot, I guess. Tell us about it. What's on you? What did he share with you? Okay, personally, like yesterday was a, another experience. When we spoke to my mm -hmm. mom about being thankful and, you know, submitting and all that stuff, that was like number one for me. Like, I, it was a reminder because she went from being depressive, self-pitying to smiling and happy in one less than an hour so, Wait. yeah yeah so like i spoke when i spoke to you guys yesterday and i just said that there's a lot to be thankful for even the fact that i'm awake and i'm able to breathe my children well my well my four children <laughs> and everything else that comes with it i'm thankful for because i mean Christian, like serving God is a choice. Mm -hmm. um, knowing, knowing God is also a choice. Getting to know God personally on a personal re um, level is a choice. And um, to me, I'm just grateful that he pulled me out when he did. Um, I used to worship and idolize things in the world and honestly it was fulfilling for a little while but in, in the midst of it all when you get home and it all comes to an end and you've got a hangover and you know you you've just, just literally let go of yourself you start feeling empty you start feeling lonely and tomorrow will be the same pattern um, you start doing things that um, you're doing it now to feel the emotions. And l literally, when I started serving, I was on a natural happy high. I was in a joyful high. Um, not as much when I got home because I was still in transition to letting go of the world. But um, at the same same time, letting go of the world and being in church. So in the beginning, it was, you know, that transition. It made things very difficult. Mm -hmm. Being able to identify with with my family that knows of God but didn't go as intense or like so deep into the word of God. Like, you know, those lukewarm Christians, I would call them. And going from being lukewarm to hot and then, you know, being lukewarm again. Um, I must say 
I'm thankful for, for just that, that he never let his hand off of me. He, he, never, he never took the covering off of me. Even when I was going through different patches, he's always been faithful. Mm -hmm. And um, I think with, with Christians nowadays, nowadays or um, we call ourselves Christians and especially in South Africa we call ourselves Christians but we're not willing to be stoned for it if that's what it might seem like um, I watched the TikTok video yesterday actually of this Christian wo woman in the UK that literally in every public space she would either scream from the top of her voice scriptures referring people like you know get your, your like get your life in order god loves you this is the only way into he um into heaven um she literally would put up a mic somewhere in a public space um and a big speaker and start you know and i just realized like when are we going to get to that point like i can tell people that i am christian or i can tell people like i you know i serve god and stuff like that but what am i willing to do to show him things like what is the when things aren't going bad i am well when things aren't going bad in my life i'm happy and i can thank thank him i can sing i can praise i can give all the glo glory to him but it was learning that when things wasn't going the way i anticipated it to go or when things weren't going the way it needed to go in my eyes um that i still needed to worship and i still needed to well you know though he slay me yet i'll trust in him i still needed to trust and to me that was very a patch that I had to discover because sometimes I still do get weary but now it's when I get weary instead of sitting feeling sorry for myself I get up and I start praising and I start worshiping now when I get to a place where um where I feel emptiness and like you know even like when we have an argument or stuff like that it it used to affect me so much that I would just be like oh, you know what I would switch off and take in that rejection that I always used to feel from my past and I would escalate that feeling I would, would elevate it even more that's called drama it's called being dramatic <laughs> I'm just playing I'm just no, playing I wouldn't say it is a no, it might. It's, it was. Yeah, go ahead. It's not even that. It was about letting go. It was about letting go of letting go of, of the things you used to. Because I mean, when, when you come and you say that you know, I I surrender my life unto God. Everything is made whole and new. But we tend to drag the old with us. We want to bring the past with us. We want to carry that luggage constantly of you know i was hurt you know um yeah but this person that does to me um i grew up without a father i grew up without a mother i was an orphan like we we tend to bring this baggage with us i'm not saying that your life story doesn't have an essential part of you know who you are as a person but sometimes we tend to not drag the good with us because nobody in their Ain't life that's something that. I want to deal with that right there. That's crazy. Like how people always bring the negative from their past, but they don't ever bring nothing good from their past. Exactly. That's crazy. The little, That's little. always been like that. It's always like that. And Go ahead. that is stuff that I started to implement in my life. It's I was in a bad season in my life, but look at where I am now. Like I made, I'm a survivor of what I went through mm -hmm. and it's made me stronger. It's molded me. I used to have so much bitterness towards my father that um, I used to drag that pain with me every single, like, you know, I, I used to, everything that my father used to say to me um, used to be there. And for, 
I mean, my father's not perfect. He still does it, but it doesn't affect me the same way because I was washed clean by the blood. And he, Thank you for he died, And he died on the cross so that I can be forgiven. He died on the cross, not that only I and the people I love can be forgiven, but even my enemies can be forgiven. He died because they stoned him. But he, he didn't do nothing. Him. He didn't do and anything. He, to have mercy on them for they don't know what they are doing and it just makes you like realize like you know as a person we hold on to so much bitterness but we were forgiven for doing way worse you come when you come to christ he says come as you are because he's going to make you all and some people still believe that i need to love like this i need to do this and it was i mean with me, it was all part of the process. Um, all those things that I was going through, when I was going through, was being stripped away. And don't get me wrong, I still do stumble and I still do fall. But the righteous self fall, but they'll get up again. I get up. I get up. I can't stay in that position for too long. The only difference now is I know who I have ahead of me and behind me. I know who's covering me. I know who's protecting me. I know who he says I am. And I don't need people to raise me. I don't need people to think anything more of me than what I am. I don't need you to believe that I'm a good person. If you don't believe but so be it. God will wash my name clean, just like he elevated Moses, just like he elevated Joseph, just like he elevated Adam. All those people in the Bible have a story before they came to that position that they were in. And it's not necessarily that serving God, I need a position, but I know what he's capable of. I know what he can do. I don't need approval from man to know what God says about me. I don't need that. And that is like, to me, that is giving thanks to God. It's giving him thanks for where I'm at. And that's what you said, giving him thanks for where I'm at. And we spoke about it yesterday. You guys in the U.S. probably have more benefits than what we do. Um, but I'm thankful for where I am because regardless of if you, you're loving the American dream or not, or you're loving in America or you're not, I'm loving in South Africa and I'm loving in a country where I can stand outside and preach to anyone about God. I can pray to anyone about God and I won't get dragged to court for, right. for, for being Christian. or important. That's so crazy. It's like, this is supposed to be the land of the free, but it's not. It's not very free here. It's not. There's so many restrictions. Like, why do I got to be looked at as a rebel because I like to talk about Jesus? That's super weird to me. And again, it's supposed to be a Christian country. This is not a Christian so, country, bro. These people do yeah, not so, love God, bro. But I believe that that God is going to do things nationally. That's going to shift the hearts of the people. I believe he's going to pour out his glory over this nation. He's going to give y'all one more good time to come back. Then he's going to give you a reason to turn back. So he's not going to do it just because you feel like you're a bad person. He's going to reveal his goodness to y'all. And it's going to be so apparent of his love that you ain't going to have no choice but to acknowledge him. And if you rebel against what he's going to do, that's going to be on you. It's not going to be because he didn't show himself mighty. My bad. Go ahead, man. He said, God, that nigga. <laughs> All right. He's so funny. He's a little country, man. This man is funny. I guess. He's a little bit he's a little bit more than that, but I guess that's cool too. Praise him, right? right. I'm gonna love you and leave you. Where you going? I'm on my way. <laughs> Boo. Boo. I'll just play it. I'm so happy. But yeah, we'll do this again next week Friday and I'll be on here too. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to Pretoria. So, pray that y'all have safe travels and 
favor on the highways that you don't have no wrecks, no distraction, no traffic tickets, no delays, no anything is going to make this an uncomfortable trip. We'll I pray that the angels of God. The spirit of God blaze a path. I love to say that blaze a path before you. All the traffic just like a red sea. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you very much. All right, bye bye. God bless. I appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Bye. bye, -bye. You know, uh, she what she was talking about earlier with like her mama like called and she was just feeling really, you know, pa no parent feels like they're good parents, right? Like no parent, I feel like any real parent feels like they could ever do enough for their children. And she was feeling real guilty and real like, you know, sad about, you know, how she could have, may have done more as a parent or how she wasn't appreciated. And I was like, but in, instead of focusing on other people's reaction to her love, you just start focusing on the goodness of God. And immediately all that heaviness that she was carrying just went away. And she just began to sing songs and, you know, talk about the goodness of God and all it was such freedom that came upon her. Like it was a beautiful thing, man, to just see her like all that weight just come off of her shoulders. And she, you know, the moment she started to think about God, the moment she started to acknowledge his goodness and thank him for her children, you know, instead of complaining about how things could have gone. Like, of course, things could always go better, but it could go worse. Your children could be dead. So thank God for their life, even if they don't, don't quite meet your expectations. Even if you don't meet their expectations, you still have a family. You should be grateful. Amen. K covers it all, said, thank God for life. Amen. In him we live and breathe and have our being. Amen. That's it. Hey, Miss Joyce, God bless you. Appreciate you coming on. Oh, come on up, man. This is the sweet, sweetest, one of the sweetest people I ever met in my life. Come on with me for a minute. Give me like five minutes. I just want to see your face, Miss Joyce. Come on, tell the people hello. I want you to introduce yourself, Miss Love. What's up, Matthew? God bless you, man. Thank you, Leanne. God bless you. You know, we are. I all feel like we could be better parents, you know. We could be, there's this sense of anxiety so we feel like there's always something I could do, be, I need to be doing for my children, you know. But the reality, you have to come to a realization, you are a child of God. You have to give yourself time to receive from God. Listen, man, you got to give yourself time to receive the love from God that you need to pour out into your children. If you pour out everything, and you never take time to recognize how much God loves you, you will literally run out of love for your own children. You, as a parent, can burn out concerning your own family. This is facts. Take time to give God thanks. Take time to spend time in worship and acknowledging his goodness. He will, he will, he will fill you back up. He'll, he'll, you know, he'll fill up that love tank. Just from thanksgiving alone, from thankfulness alone, from gratefulness alone, he'll restore your whole soul. <laughs> Leanne sent me some turkeys. I appreciate you, sir. God bless you. I'm trying to see if anybody else want to hop on with me. Before I get on. Here. 
What's up? Aaron, what's good, Aaron? Miss Linda? Come on, Mama Linda, tell us about the peace of God. Hello, hello. What's up? What's up? Good to see you, Ma. Hello. Hello there. How are you? Oh, doing great. Just enjoying listening to um, the panel you have here. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll be all over the place, Ma. It's hard to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> it's different but it's like how can i say god always used my add to my advantage ain't that something how you use our weaknesses because it's like i have the ability to speak to multiple people at once that makes sense like he he hits points in the hearts of people that i don't even know i'm touching mm -hmm. but his glory very possible it happens a lot. They, I just be going like I'd be at work and I just go on these random rants, right? And then these people are like my customer would be like, Bro, I was just talking about this with my spouse on the way here. And I didn't even know what I was talking about. That's discernment. Literally, that's Holy Spirit. Mm hmm Got discernment. Mm -hmm. I was uh, listening um to the young lady who was on here and bless mm -hmm. her. Uh, I was I really enjoyed her testimony. Yeah. That's my lady, mom. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's my lady. Oh, oh, okay. Sweet baby, yeah. Um, it made me remember how I was speaking. Um, well, at least I was kind of meditating on the idea of being focused, you know, in life. Period. Mm -hmm. Um, even even in our natural lives, when we're driving down the street. You ever been? You or anyone here tonight? You ever been driving and you look at a billboard too long or? sign on the side of the road or the next driver over to your right or any anywhere but in front of you and if you look long enough you'll tend to go in that direction mm -hmm. and, and i've seen people almost run off the road because they're rubbernecking to the you know looking at something a wreck even mm -hmm. you're passing by and you're trying to see it and you know when i used to be not one operator i would get calls from people who were not involved in the original wreck but they became in the wreck a part of that wreck because they were rubber trying, <laughs> trying to look trying your business somebody right. said to come in mind your business stay in your lane so your with lane. that being said it reminds me how even in life you know we need to stay in our lane we need to pay attention to where god is taking us if we allow distractions to keep us looking to the left right and especially behind us we will never go forward because what you pay attention to is what grows okay what you give attention to is what grows and any direction that you're looking in that's the way you're going to go that is the way you're going to go i just wanted to give that little tidbit it came to me when i was let's do this uh philippians 4 right he said think on these things uh-huh mm -hmm. That's truth. That's that's wisdom. Uh -huh. If you keep your mind on Jesus, you'll have peace. You keep on your mind on your problems, you're gonna follow the depression. That's it right I'll there. Yourself. <clears throat> Whatever you you give attention to, that is what's going to increase. That's it. Uh -huh. He's he said, What's over a man what? Thank Think it in his heart, so is he. That's what he becomes. That's what his life begins to reflect. It's so true. Just from what you're thinking about, you ain't even got to do nothing crazy. Just thinking right. crazy thoughts, you're going to have an awful life. Right, right. Because it starts in the mind. It does. If you, if you think something, you can, you know, think about it long enough until you it becomes a dream of yours. It becomes something that you, you want to have or your focal point in mm -hmm. life. And as you think on it more and more, you be, it be, becomes your dream your life dream or uh, your life purpose is something you want to accomplish mm -hmm. and what will happen is um, then you start to believe it and you believe it <laughs> once you be you start to believe it it's it's almost you've done over half the work okay mm -hmm. once you believe it you begin to speak it into existence because you believe it 
And all of this starts with just a thought, okay? God thought enough of us to put us on his, his wish list. And people say, well, wish list? Yeah. He said, brethren, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Mm -hmm. So there it is right there. We can make a wish list. We can have, we can dream and, and speak things into an exist into existence. I was speaking with someone um the other evening and um they were saying about how Solomon and a lot of ministers and preachers and speakers, you know, they speak on Solomon, how he asked God for wisdom, mm -hmm. you know, knowledge and understanding to lead the people. And I asked him, I said, Do y'all realize that did you read the rest of the scripture? Did you come on down into, you know, the rest of that chapter? He was dreaming. It had not literally taken place yet. Mm -hmm. God gave him the things that he asked for, but he, it all happened in a dream. Mm -hmm. It all happened. That's when a lot of visitations from God take place, though. Mm -hmm. And he awakened and realized he was dreaming, but he didn't let go of the thought. He didn't let go of the dream. He didn't let go of the belief that God had given it to him. Well, what I learned, though, it's like things can't take place in the physical realm until it first occurs in the spiritual. That's it. Because we are spiritual beings having a natural experience, right. period. There's no way to get around it. Even even if you don't believe it, it's still true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I love about the word. It needs no validation. It needs. And no I had to form. learn this just because you have a desire, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that's God's will for your life. That's true too. Just because I make a request, don't mean he's going to grant. It. Because he may have a alternative route, you know what I'm saying? Like his perfect will. He said, "Lord, if there be any other way, where you go, huh? Come back." He said, "Lord, if there be any other way, take this cup from me." Right? Right? Jesus Himself, the Son of the Living God, said, "To please take this cup away," but He said, "Nevertheless, let Thy will be done." He said He had to surrender His request to the will of God. He still had to get on the cross, even though he did not want to. His deep, his heart's desire was to live, but he said, die. That's something serious. Happened. And Jesus was good. What's up, Samuel? Bless you, man. I'm gonna tap in with it, bro. Um, can you go live? You got a thousand people on your page, bro? No? Dang. I was gonna bring bro up. So I was gonna let you chop it over, man. But look, Jesus said, if there be any other way, right? He made a request to God in prayer to avoid the crucifixion. And guess what? Still had to get on the cross. You know. He knew what he was capable of doing. He could have avoided that situation altogether, but he decided he wanted to humble himself before God, you know, and walk in obedience in spite of his natural desires to 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 not suffer right he decided to honor god anyways with his life i know me getting on here it's gonna call these a lot of people on tiktok to not necessarily agree with me but guess what i don't care i don't care about losing no likes no followers no nothing i'm pretty sure i could you know, I could just do fashion and do basketball and reach all these people. Y'all wouldn't give me no money anyway. That's why I don't even do it that much. <laughs> it wasn't even worth selling out for. You wouldn't even give me enough cash to sell out. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I might as well just sorry Jesus. Look, but look, check me out. I ain't going to fold, man. Like, I can't do it. I can't fold. I'm not going to fold. I'm not going to stop lifting up the name of Jesus. 
Man, man, I'm good because of I'm blessed, man. For real, God is good. What's up, Kevin? Welcome, man. But look, I'm gonna let y'all go. I've been on here about a good hour, hour and twenty. You know what I'm saying? And I pretty much got the point out there. Quit focusing on your problems and start focusing on Jesus, and you will feel a lot better about your life. Just within your so all together, you'll start to see, you'll start to see God respond to your prayers once you change your heart posture toward him. Quit focusing on everything but God. How are you going to ask a request from a God that you don't even desire a relationship with? You won't even give him any attention because you're too busy focusing on your problems. Like that's any relationship. Like, have you ever been so focused on work, on the kids, oh, this and that and that? Did you forget that you're supposed to have date night? And it literally ruined your relationship? How many people have been there? Can you devote your Friday night to God? <laughs> y'all really, are y'all about, about that life for real? Every Friday night. It's not for my spouse, it's for Jesus. Who is this? Let me see. Let's go. Let's go to turn the TikTok up and see how it go. That's right. Oh, that's Stephanie. What's up, Stephanie? I was just telling the people: Can you devote your Friday nights to God instead of whoever you feel like is more important than God? Do you really worship? Do you serve him? Do you honor him with your time, with your efforts, with your resources, with your with your energy, with your with your affection? That belong to God. Amen. So I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go, man. Uh I got a few things to do around the house. I gotta get ready to go I'll see my baby. I'm being mobile in the morning. So Y'all link up, you know what I'm saying? Go get some food. I'm going to have my daughter with me, you know what I'm saying? So we can't turn up too much. But y'all welcome to join me wherever I'm be. I don't know where I'm be. I know I'm going to see my mama. I'm going to see my baby. And I'm going to see my grandma. Other than that, you got to get in where you fit in. So, so hey, I love, love y'all. Uh, I pray that y'all had a good holiday, you know, Thanksgiving holiday. I pray that y'all be safe traveling back and forth. Uh, I pray that the Lord, you know, bless you with an abundance of, you know, food, resources that you be able to, you know, share your love, to, you know, with your people. Everybody ate good. And if you, if you didn't, I pray that the Lord expands your capacity to be able to serve others and to feed more people, you know, not just on this one day. Like, I pray that the God overflows your, you know, your cupboards to be able to share you know, every day, you know, in Jesus' name. I pray that the peace of God that surpasses understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus' name. I pray that you be anxious for nothing but everything, prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, that you begin to let your request be made known unto God. I pray that prayer becomes your first response rather than your last resort. I pray that prayer becomes your first response rather than your last resort. Don't wait till we get all the way to the bottom before you actually decide to ask God for help. That's it, bro. That's it, bro. He said, 
Be blessed, brother, and keep your heart set on Jesus and not the world. The world ain't got nothing for me, bro. I've been rolling about, well, 36. I done tried it, man. It ain't for me, bro. These streets ain't for me. I'm not, I can't. The streets ain't got nothing for me. It was a high. It was, I had fun, but it wasn't fulfilling. I still was empty, bro. Like, I was still empty in my soul. Like, I had, Jesus was the only thing that bring me peace in my soul. Nothing else, bro. Like, I was tired of being unhappy. I was tired of being depressed. I was tired of being angry. I was tired of hating myself because of the decisions that I was making. I was tired of my children not respecting me because I wasn't an honorable man. I was tired of having broken relationships. You know? I just embrace God's love, man, over everything. Because I realize, you know, when you get to your your lowest, bro, like you end up by yourself, you know. But the thing about that, that's where I found God. God was there for me. Like after I after I took all them L's because of my behavior, God lifted me up from that pit, bro. Jesus forgave me, and He began to develop me into the man of God that he desired for me to be in the beginning. I just delayed the process. Like, I was procrastinating. I, I could have been turned to God a long time ago. Like, I've been walking with him, but it's like, he got me on another level. He got me focused, bro. Like, I've always loved the word of God, but it's like, now that my life is beginning to line up with the things that I'm preaching. Like, I don't sleep. I don't have sex no more, bro. Like, I'm, you know, I ain't doing drugs no more. I don't go to the club no more. Like, are you not going to see me in there? <laughs> I just don't go. And I'm thankful for that. Like, if I do go, it's because I'm celebrating, maybe celebrating somebody's birthday. So I love, you know, and even in those situations, God had me telling somebody about Jesus. He'll send me in the dark places. But like, as far as the lifestyle that I used to live, God, God, I just, I don't want to no more, bro. It don't, I don't need to be happy. I don't need to be having fun for real, like, doing the things I used to do. Like, the things that used to make me feel good, it made me feel bad now. Like, I genuinely love spending time with God. I love telling y'all about you. This would make me happy, you know? So, it's peace. It's peace in this. Like, I get more peace from doing this than I did from getting hot. When I used to smoke weed, I used to be paranoid. I used to be anxious, bro. Like, I don't want to feel like that. I feel good when I talk about Jesus. I don't have no shame, no guilt no more, bro. I don't got to regret nothing that I'm doing tonight. I can look in the mirror and say, Dan, you didn't do nothing stupid today. And I can go to sleep. I'm going to sleep good with no regrets. Because I gave God what I had to offer. Like, that's it. You know? That's it. I ain't outside no more. <laughs> Look, I can't do it. Right. So, hey, it's 10 o'clock. I'm going to let y'all go. You know, uh, for those that do have loved ones they want to spend time with for the rest of the evening, get back to your family. I uh, appreciate y'all joining in. I appreciate y'all connecting. I appreciate everybody who joined. We had comedian Eli Thomas come on, my, my dog from Mobile, Alabama. We had had my mama, what's that, Linda Harmon. She was on here. Had my baby Sharon all the way from South Africa. You know, she's going to be on here, though. That's, that's my dog. That's my ace going to come. So she always going to be here for me. But even if she ain't, I still got to do what God tell me to do. So every Friday night, 8.30 p.m., gonna be live and sometimes in between then but for sure i'm committing to every friday night 8 30 p.m central time uh yeah what i'm gonna do since this other guy on tiktok was asking me questions i'm gonna start maybe next week 
Next week, we're going to do a live Q&A. We're going to do a live question and answer for anything y'all want to discuss. Because y'all got to bring it up. You can't get mad at me when I give you the answer that you asked for either. Don't get mad at me when I give you the answer to the question that you asked. Because <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. That's one thing about Dan Dad. He go, he going to keep it wrong. He's going to keep it 100 every time. So if y'all really have questions, y'all really have genuine, you know, concerns about things, like, or you just have, you just need solutions to stuff that you may be going through. Not only am I going to answer, I'm going to pray for you too. That God bring you out of whatever it may be. So. Y'all meet me here next Friday, 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Standard time. Uh, yeah. Um, if y'all enjoyed the live, you can send stars or whatever. Uh, look, check me out. Sharon, the lady who was on here, the one from South Africa, like you, she lives in South Africa, and she plan on bringing her over here and I need help getting her over here uh, we got to come up with about four thousand dollars just for her to visit the first time All right it takes like four thousand dollars to get her over here so I'm asking if anyone loves me uh, this is somebody I care about and I really want her here with me uh, help me get her over here like, if y'all uh, love me and y'all support me, this will mean a lot for y'all to contribute to getting Sharon from South Africa to America. But that's that's my person. That's my that's that's who. Before all of this right here, like behind the scenes, when I was going through it, that's who had my back. So. You know, if y'all love me, y'all really support. Help me get over here. You know, uh, if, if you are interested in supporting, you can inbox me. I'll give you information that you may need to uh, contribute. Uh, um, yeah. That's all I'm asking. I'm just shooting that out, out there. I've been trying to do it myself. It's hard to say for a band, y'all. It really is. I got a regular job. And I don't be bad. <laughs> I do not get nothing from, you know, the things that I do on Clubhouse and Facebook. I do all this for free um, because I love y'all. I want y'all to be happy. I want y'all to know God. I want y'all, when I pray, I mean every word that's coming out of my mouth. I mean it. I don't have no agenda, uh, but I do need help. Uh, and not only that, I'm launching a church in January as well january 19th that's less than two months i gotta do this i'm playing the church here in memphis uh got a lot of work to do got a lot of work to do so uh, that's what we call fresh start nation for anybody who didn't know fresh start nation it's gonna be the name of it it's gonna be a nation of people who who love god i operate in the power of god and it's also just going to be a safe haven for people who need a fresh start. You know what I'm saying? Who've been through a lot. Who who looking for help. You know what I'm saying? We, I just want to help people in any way possible. Like food, clothing, shelter, you know, healing, deliverance. Of course, that's my main thing. Like, that's what I love to do. I want to help people spiritually, physically, and mentally. Like, I want, you know, I want to do counseling. I want to do... I want to have a basketball gym. Like, everybody who know me know I hoop. Like, that's what I love to do. And it helped me stay physically fit for most, you know, of my life. So I could definitely see, like, the community center. Uh, food, you know, it's like a food court. But everything free. Like, you know, here you go to the mall, you have all these. You got the Chinese, you got the Mexican, you got the all that. Boom, 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 boom. Like, I want a food court, but everything free. I want to do something like that. I want to do that. Uh, everybody know 
you know, I like fashion, so I want to give away clothes. Like, I want people to have nice things. I don't want to just give away, like, the Bobo stuff that you find at, like, good. I want, like, I want to give people nice things and make them feel better about this. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't, it'll be, like, you know, you can go to job interview and you can get a job because you look presentable. I want to partner with barbers. I want to partner with beauticians who can help give people makeovers and stuff like so they can't, can't like have you ever got somebody off the street they can't just go straight off the street straight to a job interview it, it's a process they got to go through they got to want they got to i want somebody who you know i want to buy a cologne i want to buy like you know take, take them through that whole process of literally having a fresh start like help them get their ids help them get their social security card their birth certificate i know a lot of people are stuck just because they don't have that that stuff costs money like I want to help give Uber gift cards so they can once they get the job they be able to get back and forth. Like a lot of people ain't been through the process of not having them before. It's it's hard from the beginning. Like you can you afraid to go get a job because you don't even know how you're going to get there. I want to provide transportation for these people. You know. So if you want to partner with me, inbox me, and you and I give you whatever way that you want to so you know what i'm saying help me help me help these people i'm already doing it now actually for a few people but i want to help more like i want to help a lot of people and i can't do that by myself like i'm barely you know scraping together enough to help who i'm helping but i want to help a lot i want to do more and i need resources like to do that i do the work i just need money for real for real like i do the work i, I help people i just need additional resources i need food i need clothing i need you know to be able to pour into people i'm praying that god expands me and he expands you he blesses you to be a blessing I'm praying that now and then I thank God that he's blessing you to be a blessing to the ministry that he put in my heart. That's my prayer. That he expands you even today. That begin, people begin to just pour into you that you'll be able to share. With Fresh Start Nation. So we can share. I just want to give it away. I, don't, I want you to give to me so I can give it away. I want to be a, like a distributor of, of wealth, of of, of uh of health, of, you know, freedom from, you know, homelessness, from disease, from, you know, how are we going to say God bless you and then send people away with nothing? Like, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in sending people away with nothing. But I need help. Help. So, if you want to so you can hit me up, inbox me, and then I'll let you know how you can you can you can partner with me okay so y'all let's talk let's talk, talk about it i'm gonna be having my first it's the, the, a whole distribution center that's it Teresa. of clothing food like i want to buy a whole amazon warehouse and just turn it into a shelter <laughs> It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be. It's gonna make things like, you know, why not? Why not? What's up, Chanel? What's up, Chanel? Good to see you. I was just sharing, uh, you know, the vision with people. What I want to do. I believe God. He's gonna increase me. Uh, but I need partners. So I can't do this right now. I'm just being realistic. I cannot do all that by myself. It's, you know, but uh, I believe God is going to send people who have a heart for God and for the people to help me, you know. Uh, he's sending a few. There's people moving to Memphis, man, to, to partner. This thing is really, really, really about to happen. So I'm excited. January, in January, I'm launching the church. I'm waiting on the final say so on the on the building, and 
I'm gonna show, I'm making an official announcement. I'm gonna make an official announcement. It's gonna make a flyer. You know, I like making creative digital artworks and stuff. Y'all like that, that fire jump, that fire, that fresh fire? I mean, that, <laughs> that Friday night. That's pretty cool. I thought it was lit. But uh, I'm gonna keep y'all updated. Y'all follow, go ahead and follow, hit the share. Get this word out, man. Hopefully it encourages somebody. Uh, I'm new to this. Like I've been preaching behind the scenes, but as far as like on a on a platform, like a genuine platform, it's new. So, but I believe I believe God is going to do the same thing publicly. What He's been doing behind the scenes, I believe. Like I've been healing people, like literally physically in the name of Jesus. People physically being healed, people's lives being transformed. That y'all don't know nothing about. And I believe God is going to begin to do it publicly, like on video. You know, it's people's hearts really being changed for the better. You know, for the glory of God. So, you know, pray that y'all part with me. I love y'all. Um, pray that y'all have a good evening. I'm going to let y'all go with that. Peace. Y'all can send stars too, like the stars thing. That works. If y'all don't want to do like inbox me, if you want to support, you can do that. You can buy stars and then post them on my page whatever on the videos but uh, uh hey peace blessings to you i love you guys uh i appreciate everybody who's joining in who has joined who's here you can always go back and watch the replay i'm gonna post it now i'm gonna post it on my page right now so appreciate y'all uh pray that the lord bless you and keeps you and he causes his face to shine upon you that he give you peace in jesus name amen all right, talk to y'all later.